Have you ever wondered why the material in your pencil breaks if you press too hard? My name is Eleanor Mullen and I'm a scientist at the Amber Research Centre. In this video, we're going to explore the hidden world within our pencils. Smaller than a human hair, smaller than our eyes can see, we're going to find out what makes pencils break so easily and how scientists have discovered an amazing nanomaterial called graphene. Let's imagine we shrink ourselves right down to look inside our pencils graphite. This is the black stuff within our pencils. This is a model of what we would find. These red blobs represent carbon atoms found in every living thing, even you and even me. These carbon atoms are held together in sheets of hexagon-like structures. The bonds between the carbon atoms are strong and less flexible. And in between our layers of carbon atoms, we have pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners represent weaker and more flexible bonds than our cocktail stick bonds. They allow the layers of carbon atoms to move around and slide off each other onto our paper. So what makes our graphite break off our pencil when we write? Every time we use our pencils, we are putting millions of layers of graphite down onto our paper. But what would happen if we could make one single layer slide off onto our paper? This is exactly what scientists at the University of Manchester started to think about. Their idea was really simple. Take a type of adhesive tape like this, put a blob of graphite on the tape and keep pulling it apart until all you are left with is single layers of carbon. All the bonds, the pipe cleaners holding the layers together will be broken. Seems simple, right? But the experiment was a success. The pair had created graphene from graphite and received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2010 in recognition of their breakthrough. This is graphene, a single layer of carbon atoms. It is amazing, it's really strong and energy can pass through it really quickly. At Amber, we have found new ways to make graphene from graphite without using cell tape and have found lots of new uses for it. Professor Jonathan Coleman had the idea of putting graphene into silly putty to make a super stretchy sensor that we can measure heart rate and blood pressure with. If you want to learn more about nanomaterials and nanoscience, visit the Amber website at ambercenter.ie forward slash nano wow. You can sign up for free virtual science events and download more information so that you can learn from home.